Good evening to the interwebs. This is the Toge Horseman, signing in for a third and final video review of the OnSwitch app uh, through Test Flight uh, for the Philips Hue bulbs. Uh, this is an Apple specific update, as that's all that I use. Uh, testing beta build version 1.1.18.8 uh, courtesy of David Puesner as always. So um, I already tested the two scenes, the lightning and aurora as requested, uh, but I found that it's, it's usually helpful to beta test some of the other features uh, using the watch and the phone just to give some general quirks um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on because you're probably hoping to see light bulbs, not darkness and my voice. So um, I have a scene here that I'm going to start up uh, using the standard setting here. And just to explain what you're looking at, this is a scene that I call the trees scene. I have these two upright lamps that have three standard bulbs each on the left and right and then I have three blooms in the center. This is the rear stage of my living room and creates a nice ambient lighting effect. Um, in turning on the standard setting uh, what you can see here is that the lower bloom is more orange than the upper two. That's the lower center bulb. Um, so kind of interesting how that caught a different color. I'm going to press standard again and see if they equalize. Press that a couple times. Now the left one is more reddish, but that top right bloom um, is not. Um, so kind of interesting how what it, for whatever reason the standard bulb is not grabbing the color that it should. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be red or supposed to be white. The whiter version of it looks like almost a perfect match, so I would prefer that. The red one looks out of place. Turn them all off for a second, and we'll turn them back on and see what happens. Same drill. So for whatever reason, two of the three blooms are coming on orange-red color temperature, um, far right bloom is coming on wider. Not sure how well that shows up in the video, but nonetheless, it is the case. Tap it a couple times more just to see if there's any change. Does not look like it. So for whatever reason, that one bulb is just being a punk. Uh, we'll turn it off and then on one more time. Third time's a charm. And I guess, although I actually prefer the color matching um, temperature, but here we are with the three blooms and kind of a ready temperature. This is on the standard everyday lighting scene. Um, and then the standard bulbs are looking pretty much like a regular incandescent, which I assume is the idea here. So uh, let's go over to night light just to kind of dim it down for a bit. And again, I, I love the low lighting scenes. This is one of the advantages to the hue bulb system, being able to dim the lights on cue from the phone or whatever else is handy. Um, so I like this, um, although the color temperature really doesn't match. Um, again, we're talking about the night light scene here. Um, the blooms do not match the standard bulbs. So that's I'm, I'm not a fan of that because this particular color temperature seems to be one that all the bulbs can produce the living colors and the standards so um, it is what it is but you know I'll turn them off again Ooh. so <laughs> kind of a choppy turn off there one at a time but they all made it uh, we'll go with fluorescent this time So herein lies um, the problem, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but the top left bulb did not come on at full brightness. It appears to be on, 
in some regard, but not fully on. So that's an issue. Um, I'm going to press fluorescent again, see if it grabs. And there it is. It's in full brightness. Um, again, the blooms um, more yellowy in color temperature. The standards more white, as you would expect from a fluorescent bulb. Not sure um, if it's possible to make the blooms a bit more white, um, but perhaps in skylight they are. So we'll hit skylight after I turn it off. Off. All worked well. Skylight on. So I guess it sort of speaks for itself here. Um, same drill. Blooms are a little different color temperature. Um, everything's on. Seems to be the same brightness for all. We'll go off and hit antique. Whoa. Okay, so just to clarify, I hit off and we got two bulbs that kind of hung around. So I'll hit off again and there they are. So we'll hit antique just to do another everyday lighting scene. Now this is another issue that when I hit antique, it looks like we have the standard bulbs matching two of the blooms, but the leftmost bloom that you can see is showing up way more red. Um, but the lower and right bloom are pretty close to the standard bulbs, which I always like. The closer, the better, in my opinion. Uh, we'll turn them off and we'll try antique again. And now the, at least there's uniformity the antiques are all the same the standards are all the same and we'll go off and just the one that I've really been liking a lot but doesn't always work out great is this color accurate light in the home theater section so we'll click that and Sort of an interesting choice of colors for the blooms. Not sure if it's visible, but we have the left and bottom being kind of what you might expect, um, but the right one being a red, which is sort of unexpected. So I'll hit color accurate again. This is often what I have to do is hit it a few times. Color accurate. Hoping that that right one turns a little less red. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but it's red. I'll turn the bulbs off again. And for a quick Apple Watch demo, just to prove it works, uh, we'll go into the on switch app and we're going to try to grab the trees. That's the name of the scene. And again, this is the um, color accurate light. Um, seemingly not consistent in the blooms. It always seems to be something that gives me trouble. Um, 